Hello and welcome to Brewster Shorts, I'm Bruce Devlin. For the last of the current IMF Shorts, we're going to be looking at IMSC1. This is the Internet, Media, Subtitling and Captioning profile of TTML, the Timed Text Markup Language. It's important because it's really the first global captioning standard that's not tightly coupled to the transmission mechanism. Before TTML, you had to choose whether your subtitles or captions were going to be rendered for 25 frames per second or 30 frames per second. IMSC1 allows you to author subtitles and captions for any frame rate and then render them appropriately. And by rendering, we could convert them to USCTA 608 or 708. And we could even convert them to WST for broadcast. There are other display profiles of TTML, such as EBUTTD and SDPUS. But IMSC1 is really intended to be the one format that you use for mastering and authoring multiple versions. And that's handy, because that's also the role of the IMF standard. So how does IMSC1 work? Well, it's an XML document that defines a number of display regions. Text that you want to display is rendered into those regions according to the timing model. The regions offer support for the rolling and scrolling modes that we are familiar with in broadcast captioning and subtitling. But TTML separates the representation of the text content and the text presentation that's often missing from the legacy captioning and subtitling formats. As an industry, we have to encourage the authoring tool vendors and the display tools to strictly adhere to the rules of IMSC1 so that we get good interoperability and we reduce the cost of these accessible services. If you want to have a play with IMSC1 and check how good your tools are, then follow the link on the Bruce's Shorts website to Pierre Lemieux's excellent browser-based rendering tool. Until the next one, enjoy your IMF.